Two tonight, attorneys with the Walker County Sheriff's Department responding for the first time to those disturbing allegations that we were telling you about that deputies locked inmate Tony Mitchell in a freezer leading to his death. Well, these new court documents show the county is denying all of these allegations. Lauren Jackson has been following this case. And Lauren, you spoke with the sheriff's attorney. They say Tony Mitchell was never placed in a freezer. Yeah, Steve Morgan, attorneys representing the Walker County Sheriff's Department tell me that he was never placed in a freezer and that these allegations from his family's lawsuit have been damaging to the entire department. They say they have evidence to prove that he wasn't in that freezer while in their custody. From the evidence that we have is that he wasn't kept in a freezer. New court filings show the Walker County Sheriff's Department denying allegations. They kept Anthony Tony Mitchell in a freezer while he was in custody. There's been a lot of derision thrown at them from what we have been able to see was without any basis in regards to the uh, putting someone in a freezer. I mean, essentially they were accused of killing somebody and covering it up and there's just not any evidence to support that. Lead attorney for the sheriff's office Randy McNeil tells me they have video evidence that shows Mitchell's location while in custody. We have video from the, the booking area of the jail and we have video of the kitchen area where the freezers are. Mitchell's family's lawsuit says he froze to death, noting that an ER doctor listed his cause of death as hypothermia and listed his body temperature as 72 degrees. Medical records say what the medical records say. We have not had a chance to look at the medical records. Autopsy's not even back yet, so there's not even enough of a basis for us to go and say anything regarding the medical records until we see the autopsy report. Videos of Mitchell and deputies inside the jail have leaked, but McNeil says they don't paint the whole picture. I think to be able to make a fair judgment on what happened, somebody would have to look at all the video and rather than just still images of pieces of video. And they filed a motion to remove these allegations and other language that they deem scandalous. They have been flooded with negative publicity. They have been a subject of protest there at the jail. Our position is without really any merit in regards to the allegations that he was kept in a freezer. Now I reached out to the attorneys representing Mitchell's family, but I did not hear back tonight. Now we're just waiting on a date for the case to come from a judge. Morgan.